Justice just plowed through. Big boy touchdown. Oh no, we're gonna lose our Leonard, get him! Get him, Leonard! Get him! No! We just blew an objective. Oh, we bit on that. We had that. Bridge has it. Nice catch, Bridge. No, don't fumble it. Oh, come on, really? Oh my gosh, I give it. Turnovers. Come on, get that ball. Bully in. Touchdown. We got that one. Here we go. We got to get pressure. We got Leonard coming. We got Dennis coming. They're just going to milk the clock, and I can't say I blame them. Oh, great seal. Okay, we got a call time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to East New Mexico Season 4. Today, we take on the Oklahoma Sooners, the only team that has defeated us to date in the past season and a half. We lost by a touchdown. We gave up way too many turnovers. We allowed a kickoff return for a touchdown. We held their offense to only one touchdown, but they still, 21-14, they beat us. This year, we're coming in stronger. We're coming in ready. We're coming in prepared. A little luster has been knocked off this game. Oklahoma went from being ranked in the top five to knocking out all the way down to number eight after the loss to Miami. We're 2-0. We have defeated two top 25 teams, and we still are not getting respect in the polls. I don't know what the excuse will be if we beat Oklahoma and they still don't keep us ranked, but I feel that we're not getting the credit we deserve. Oklahoma, East New Mexico, next. Let's get into it. All new quarterback this year. We'll see how they fare. Defense has been looking forward to this one all year long. This is where we need to play smart. We need to get good pressure on this guy. Force him to make a bad throw, not give him time. Right there, not give him time. Maldonado with his third pick in his two games. That's how we make the plays. He had no time to get a good throw off. Another loud crowd. We gotta be careful we don't get any false starts. I definitely wanna get justice started early in this game. That's not how to get it going though. The focus has been on justice. Every team wants to stop him. He's not getting the yards he got last, last year, last two years. Teams are playing smart. Now they over-pursued. We've got this one. That's a touchdown. We're on the board first. Touchdown, East New Mexico. The crowd is booing. Let them. We've got a linebacker stunt. All the pressure's coming to the weak side. Pleasant sees it, blows it up. Here we go. Got him. He's got no time. His line isn't blocking. Crowd is booing. They are not happy. When you run off 52 yards with justice, logically the next thing you want to do with the team you have right now is play action. Johnson makes the oh, catch. It's a fumble. We had this happen last year, but guys, come on. I'm challenging that one. That looked like he was down. And yeah, we're challenging this one. <clears throat> Big catch by Johnson. Where's the ball fall out? Yeah, he's down. He still got it. He's down. That's our ball. I tell you, this crowd is furious right now. Their team is letting them down.
Oh, we got the good pitch. The shifty moves. Sit down. Where is he going? Justice just making moves. You've pent this guy up for far too long, man. He's trying to get back in the Heisman race. A little shifty move there. Spin away from one more guy. It's a team effort to get him down right now. He's feeling it. I wonder if I get Quinn. McCrimmon. Oh, McCrimmon drops it. That was a money catch. You got to hold on to that. I'm going to save that play for later. I feel confident. Touchdown. What a play. That's two for Justice. Justice for Heisman. Come on, guys. Let's make it happen. We got a nice cover one. Man package. Nice tackle, guys. Oh, we got the fumble. No, we don't. Yes, we do. We got it. That's how you make a fumble. This team's falling apart. Starting to look like 2022 Oklahoma. Yeah, we're going to play action again. We're either going to have Chad Johnson on the short side, or we're going to have Quinn open. I just don't think they can get everybody. We got Henry open. Henry making big play. That's a face mask, too. You can tell they grab him. The guy just spins in that ugly fashion. Ooh, we barely got that one off. We got that, though. Tell me it's a touchdown. Good job, Quinn. We barely got that off where the play call expired. That's a big play for Quinn. We're going to shut this team down. Here we go. Double corner blitz. We got him. Look, at everyone just crashed down. What's going on with the offensive line for them? So I don't know what's going on with this team. They have one defensive tackle out with an injury, and their kicker's out on probation. But everyone else is in. And that's a safety. Ooh, it's not a safety. Wow. Look how close that is. I don't think I can challenge that. Now McCrimmon holds on. Good job. Senior, I'm trying to get you something. So we're going play action again. Johnson's got the deep post. McCrimmon on a comeback route. We got no time. We have no time. That blitz was not picked up. So Oklahoma's showing a little moxie here in the second quarter. We're going to take as much time as we can. Quinn gets the big catch. Nice play. Nice, nice play. That's awesome. Look at this. Man, you can't throw that into a tighter pocket than that. I think this defense is tired of being abused and they're trying to play some smart football. I say that and then they just give it up. They all blitz right down the middle. Justice bounces it outside. He gets his third touchdown. Hashtag justice for Heisman. Momentum is killing him. Turnovers, bad possessions, bad uh, field position. I don't feel bad for him. That's a pick. He threw it right to the guy. He threw it right to my man. Look at his short field. Our field position is phenomenal. Like, I can't even... They're not going to win. We have momentum. We have the field. We got Justice, who's just beastly. Look at it. Just bullied that man over. I think he's on the ground now. We're going with the fake toss one more time. Maybe they'll think we wouldn't try it a second time. Another shifty move. What? Get that touchdown. Look at that move, man. 
Watch this. Pushes that guy off. Takes him. And just drags one more in for the touchdown. So your halftime score looks like our score from the first season, but reversed. This is why it's key to play solid and smart football and try not to commit turnovers. Because you may not get another great... Uh, you're not going to get a great quarter every time. Like, their defense is showing up now. They're playing tough. We're going to put Justice out on a five wheel to see if we can get some space. And we'll just give it to Justice. Look at him. Drag him. Drag him. Look at him. Give him the ball wherever. He's going to make plays. Holy cow. I didn't think he had it in him. He's a tall guy, though. Look at him. Big catch. Tears that tackle apart and just drags this man. We're going to spread it out wide. We're just going to try and pound it. I'd like to score now, but if I don't, well, I'm going to score now. But if I didn't, I'd just take more time off the clock. 74 rushing touchdowns. We lead the NCAA all time. Tell me again why he doesn't deserve a Heisman. The next question I'm wondering is if he's going to stick around for a senior year. What I have noticed about this game is that if you commit turnovers, the momentum really swings hard in the opposite direction, and, and you're going to lose the battle. I say it again, and look at that. The fumble, the pickup, and the touchdown by one man. That's Leonard. That's our nickelback. We're not calling off the dogs just yet. I want to make a good showing in the polls. I want everyone to see. Wow, that's a defensive end. That's another turnover. If the coaches and the AP don't look at us and think we're a ranked team, I'm, I'm not sure what else we need to do today. Oh, drop it, Quinn. You saw the safety there and you refused to hold on to it. So I did a check. Bates is their starter, but he's a freshman. They're starting a freshman, and that's what's happening here. He just does not have... Look at him. He doesn't have the composure. We're going to switch it. Pleasant's going to come really wide. He's not used to this pressure, and I think that's what lost them the game against my... Oh, got him. And that... Nope. Nope. That's a face mask. You can see that animation where they just drag around like that. I just gave him a first down. <laughs> Got him again. Got him again. Hall got him. Pretty sure Hall, Hall also got a uh, interception this game. It's time to eat some clock. We have a freshman in at tailback. I'm giving Justice this uh, drive off. Wow. Wow, Plummer just took that one. So if I was the computer, if I was Oklahoma, I'd be running up the score on me right now. I'm not doing that. I'm just trying to get out of here with no injuries. I'm going to keep this guy confused. I don't know what they're going to do with an 0-2 record. They're eighth right now. Give me that ball. Look at Pleasant, man. Pleasant is everywhere today. Just want to get out of here without any injuries. Oh, crazy formations here. Oh, Ridgeway with a touchdown. Good job, freshman. You can't get mad at that. That's my backup. Just want to give him a taste of football. It's been a rough game for this Oklahoma team. I can only imagine how this feels coming in the top five, dropping to eight after losing to Miami, and then just getting systematically destroyed at home. Pleasant with another sack, guys. He tried to run. Pleasant had him covered. I almost want to throw the ball one time, just get Plummer some yardage, but we don't need to.
Two words for this game, statement game. We made a statement. We made a statement that Justice is definitely a Heisman Trophy contender. And we made a statement that we belong in the top 25. Regardless of how you look at Oklahoma right now, we have beaten three top 25 teams. One in the top 10. Two that are ranked within 10 and 11. So all top 15 teams. We have dominated the Big 12 to this point. We have won all three of the toughest games on the road. And now we get to sit back and bring Texas A&M to our house. The only question left to end this week out. Do we get respect? Are we respected enough now to be in the top 25? So it looks like we're finally getting the respect. 14 consecutive wins and we make it into the top 25. We're ranked 21st. I still think that's kind of low. I think they don't want to give us a shot because we're from the WAC. We're playing these small schools in our conference. But let's look at who we beat. Iowa State, who's still above us. Missouri is ranked 15, and we beat them by a touchdown. We ran up the score against Iowa State. We destroyed Oklahoma. All three of these teams are still ranked ahead of us. They're 0-2. 0-2. East New Mexico crushed them 56 to nothing, and they're still ranked better than us? I don't know what else you think we need to do. Let's check the media poll. So the media is a little more forgiving. We're ranked 10th, and I think that's appropriate. So the media, we're media darlings. We're the Cinderella team. We're everything that the media wants to promote when it comes to college sports. But the coaches, you know, they don't want us infringing on their turf. They don't want us coming in and upsetting the natural order and balance of things. Justice is up there at the top. He had 98 yards for five touchdowns, two receptions for 54 yards. We took him out in the fourth quarter because I didn't want him to get injured. So he has 290 yards with eight touchdowns. Eight touchdowns, three games. So next week, we take on Texas A&M, and they're coming to our house. They will be our homecoming game. They're 2-0. and We're 3-0. and They actually are the Big 12 team. We're going to be playing coming in with the best record. As you can tell from the past couple games, man, just because you're ranked, it doesn't mean much. Oklahoma was top, highest ranked team we played, and we destroyed them. Missouri, we needed a touchdown to beat them. And then Tim Tebow, he was it. He was it for Iowa State. So we can't go into this Texas A&M game and think that we can just run all over them. We have to play smart and play within ourselves. If you like what you've been seeing, if you enjoy this, if you're having fun going against the Big 12, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, leaving some comments. I'm having a blast. Season four is going to be great. Let's just hope that we keep winning and winning and we get an invite to a major conference so overall the competition gets even tougher. I'm the old man and I thank you for sticking around and watching. Have a great day.